Banjo backup refers to those notes that you play while the singer is singing. The goal of this video is to help you understand how to play these three types of backup. To get started, we'll go over these kind of backup licks. Vamp licks are the basic ones that keep the 4-4 rhythm going, often in the form of what's called boom chick. Boom, chick, boom, chick. And we're doing this with a fully fretted chord. This is the F-shaped chord on a G chord. And also notice that the right hand is moved up toward the neck to mellow out the tone. You don't want the shrill sound that would overpower the singer. So it's one, two, three, four. Another element of vamping is where you release the pressure of the left hand notes. It's called dampening. You do it right after you sound the chord. Another vamp pattern is where you go between two different shapes. So I'm connecting my F shape to my D shape. Each one still gets the dampening on beats two and four. One, two, three, and four. One last word on vamping is that it's important to realize if the mandolin is doing the fills, there is no chop. So it becomes important for you to provide the offbeat chop. Our next category of licks will be fill licks. These are licks that fall in between the vocal phrases. Mama don't allow no light music around here. Mama don't allow no loud music around here. Connecting licks are those phrases that connect one chord to another, such as a G. Walking up to a C or a G. Walking down to a D. Finishing licks leave the expectation that you're about to wrap everything up. Usually it's going from a D back to the open G. A tag lick is a special kind of fill lick that indicates that the vocalist has come to the end of a verse or a chorus. Can be one measure or two measures. Mama don't allow no loud music around here. Let's now put together a complete vamp and fill backup for the song Mama Don't Allow which could also be used for any of the other songs you see listed. Here are the licks we will play, as well as labeling the type of licks being used. Mama don't allow no banjo picking around here. Let's now take a look at two more types of licks that will help us put together a rolling backup. Pad licks can be thought of as extended rolls that drive the rhythm, usually mostly made up of eighth notes. Alan Mundy likes to refer to the last couple notes in this pattern as resetting the roll. You can hear this when you play the pattern a couple times in a row. I'll begin my slide this time on fret 2. It's important to remember that our categories of licks are simply labels that help us remember what to play when. This next lick could be a pad lick for a D chord, but at the same time it could be a fill lick. Chordal licks are a series of notes that will sound good over a given background chord. 
Here is a C lick. And here is an F lick. We'll now perform a rolling backup for Mama Don't Allow using all the concepts we've covered. Just a quick mention that I have an interactive electronic book on the subject of backup banjo. Here's the list of songs in the book that is available from the Apple Bookstore. All of the categories of licks that we've gone over can be played up the neck as well, creating a high backup. Next we have a high backup for Mama Don't Allow, performed at a slow speed. Mama don't allow no banjo picking round here. Mama don't allow no banjo picking round here. I don't care what Mama don't allow. Gonna pick my banjo now, anyhow. Mama don't. play our vamp and fill, rolling, and high backup all in a row without stopping, fully up to speed. <laughs> 